educational, okay. Okay. management, how to Thanks. be better people. <laughs> they want to militarize space, so we're trying to get them to remember to keep space just for peace, not having weapons in space, so it's very important. So we hope that this would get to the military and keep those weapons out of the space. Okay. Uh, we're here in San Francisco today, part of uh, Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, San Francisco branch, kicking off the uh, Keep Space for Peace uh, week and uh, giving out leaflets uh, to let people know about the militarization of space and also for the uh, UN efforts at the prevention of an arms race in outer space. So uh, we've got a leaflet that refers people to uh, various websites where they can get additional information. And uh, our main call is tell the candidates, keep space for peace. Uh, so our leaflet uh, outlines the problem a little bit to talk about how there are already um, military uses of space, but that the current plan is to oppose uh, new weapons circulating in space. One reason we're here is that we are especially interested in supporting the Czechs. They are doing marvelous things over in their republic and trying to uh, stop all this. So that's one reason why we're out here today. No war in space. No war ever. Stop having wars. Halliburton war criminals. Halliburton war criminals. No weapons in space. This is an article by no uh, Chalmers Johnson. Uh, in which he says that um, during this last week when all the noise was being made about the $700 billion bailout of Wall Street, Congress during that time, uh, right in the middle of the fight, the House of Representatives passed a $612 billion defense authorization bill for 2009 without a murmur of public protest or any meaningful press comment at all. The New York Times gave the matter only three short paragraphs buried in a story about another appropriations measure. Uh, and he points out that it also fully funds the Pentagon's request for a radar site in the Czech Republic. A harebrained scheme sure to infuriate the Russians just as much as a Russian missile base in Cuba once infuriated us. The whole bill passed by a vote of 392 to 39 and will fly through the Senate where a similar bill has already been approved. And no one will even think to mention it in the same breath with the discussion of bailout funds for dying investment banks and the like. Uh, he also says, not only was there no significant media coverage of this latest appropriation, there have been no signs of even the slightest urge to inquire into the relationship between our bloated military and the financial catastrophe on Wall Street. We're here today because we want to keep weapons, all weapons, out of space outer space and there's a UN resolution to this effect. Thank you. And there's only two countries that haven't signed it. The resolution is the prevention of an arms race in outer space. Only two countries have not signed it. The United States and Israel. So we're here today to give out information about this so that people will contact their Congress people and the candidates running for office and get us to sign this. This is the least we can do. And what's that acronym they call it? They call it PARAS, P-A-R-O-S, Prevention of an Arms Race in Outer Space. And who's sponsoring it? Uh, it's sponsored, it's at the uh, UN. Um, 
It's a multilateral treaty that has been signed by every country but the U.S. and Israel. So we want to get our country to sign on to it. It's the least we can do.